to local news, no running water, limited electricity. People that want a Scambia County mobile home park are living in deplorable conditions, but for them it's nothing new. And as Hannah McKenzie found out, the landlord has several properties in disrepair. She is in Warrington with the latest. So just looking around here, it's not hard to understand why the Florida Department of Health and now code enforcement is investigating this mobile home park off of New Warrington Road. What is hard to understand, though, is how conditions were allowed to go on like this for so long. Under staffing and a lack of funding, that's what Commissioner Doug Underhill says it all boils down to. Until we get our budget priorities right, we are going to continue to be a community that while we are surrounded by natural beauty, there are some real pockets of very unnatural beauty, <laughs> unnatural waste and, and, and unnatural, very truly disgusting uh, living conditions. Since last year, Underhill says the county has tried unsuccessfully to work with the landlord, Giovanni Gelano. We were very patient with the landlord, not for the sake of the landlord, but for the sake of the citizens that live there. Um, but it's very clear that there's no way uh, that that facility can be brought up to reasonable human conditions with that landlord. Gelano owns seven properties in Escambia County. We asked for an interview, but didn't hear back. So we went to a few of his properties. Most looked similar to the mobile home park. This home on Cervantes Street has looked like this since December. I heard about a, a loud explosion, and whenever my son and I walked out on the porch, fire. We could see flames coming out. Carolyn Glately lives next door. Aside from the occasional homeless person taking up residence since the fire, she says she's actually had some peace and quiet. It's been used as a drug house, prostitution, all kinds of bad things have been happening here. Glately has seen five families living here at once. They told her Gelano charged $500 a month per room. I used to have his phone number and I would call him periodically when disturbances happen over here. But then he changed his phone number. He got tired of me calling and complaining. Underhill says the only way things will change is if the county cracks down on enforcing the law. These few slumlords that run a place the way this guy does, they are the ones who are having an incredible negative impact on our society, not just on the neighborhood around there, but on how it also holds the Scambia citizens down and keeps them in that kind of squalor. We were out here earlier this morning as code enforcement investigators went door to door surveying what they found. They left this posting out here. It's a list of violations for the landlord Gelano. Now that we reached out to them for more information, but they couldn't give us any until their investigation is complete. Until then, though, the residents who are still living here are just waiting in limbo to find out what's next for them. Reporting live in Warrington, Hannah McKenzie, Channel 3 News.